Hey guys, Artist and Tony, and I received this package in the mail, and it's uh, kind of exciting for me. They may bore you to tears, but <laughs> I apologize in advance. There's two things in here for the giveaway that I wanted to show you. So um, I think I talked briefly about them in the other uh, update, but uh, I'm actually going to be able to show you this time. This is from a company called uh, VanQuest. They contacted me and asked me to review uh, some of their gear. So I went to their website and looked at something and picked out something that I actually have been wanting for quite a while. And it's a, a messenger bag type uh, piece of gear that was going to replace my uh, laptop briefcase. And I'll show that in my, the next video. So I'm just going to basically go over the biggest piece of gear just briefly, just kind of a first look at it, and then I'll show the other two items because they provided the uh, RFID uh, protective wallet and, a, and a, one of their mini pouches, uh, folding pouches, uh, for our giveaway, which I thought was kind of cool. When I mentioned to him that um, you know we were having a giveaway, he offered two small items, which I thought was pretty cool. When I say small, I just mean size. I don't know they mean the, the monetary. I don't. I'm not sure of the monetary value of them. But we'll uh, let's get it open here. And enough jibber jabber, right? I'm going to open this with this. Some of you may recognize this as the bushcraft knife <laughs> made from a putty knife. And it's funny because this was almost two years ago that I made this, and people say, "Oh, there's no way that can hold an edge," and of course. It holds an edge fine. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it back here. Especially uh, for this type of thing. The original intent for this was to do some foraging. Like if I wanted to go dig up a dandelion or something, I would use this knife instead of my good knife. And then of course I made a little sheath for it. And that was pretty cool. That was I think that's the first leather working uh, I did. More jimmer jammer. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. We have one envelope, one trusty envelope. Let's see, dear Tony. This is Alex Moons from VanQuest. First of all, I want to thank you for reviewing our gear on YouTube. Our uh, reviewer outreach program is designed to encourage independent reviewers like you to share your thoughts and experience about VanQuest. And it's a pretty good piece of letter here, so I will. I'll read all of that later, but just to give you kind of an idea. Uh, and I'll put a link to their website. I am actually purchasing this uh, messenger bag. Um, I actually wanted one, and when I saw this one, it was kind of really what I wanted to replace my other one, which is getting older. It's like a piece of luggage made by Samsonite, but it's really a, a softer, it's not a hard case. So I wanted something like this to replace it anyway, so I asked Alex of VanQuest, you know, if I could just get a discount, and he said, sure. Here's the main piece of gear they sent me. It's a messenger bag type piece of gear. And you can, I've seen reviews of these online. They're really nice. Lots of pouches, heavy duty. I'm gonna have to actually educate myself on how this is made before I can do a review on it. And I plan to use it for at least two weeks, uh, maybe a little longer since I purchased it before I do a review on it. I have this high, high visibility liners on the inside bunch of pockets. I plan on putting my 17 inch laptop in here but you could actually use this almost like a bug out bag. I'm a big fan of uh, shoulder slung gear. I have a, an old World War II butt pack that I attach the sling to that I actually wear uh, over, over the shoulder like that. I'm not a big fan of backpacks. So that's why this is so attractive to me is I think I could use this in that capacity if I wanted to on a weekend, but during the week use it for work. I think my, my knee jerk reaction is if I'm gonna use this on a daily uh, basis for business, of course I'm a contractor, people don't look at me the same way as they do, you know, somebody that wears a shirt and tie every day. But I would like to have a panel, let's call it an admin panel, that covers 
this area here. So it looks more generic like that on the front. I think that would be cool because this is really tactical looking and I'm not really wanting to present myself as a tactical person, as a design. Maybe I'm a tactical design build guy. <laughs> I don't know. But I would like to have, and maybe I'll make something because I know I can get this fabric. Maybe I'll demonstrate that, how you could have a panel that would cover this pal's webbing and make this more, especially if you were traveling and you, want, you were going to use this as a, if you were going to check this bag, I probably wouldn't check this bag. I would use it as a carry-on because it's just the right size, especially if I had my laptop in it. I'm really spending more time on this than I want to, but it's kind of cool already, so <laughs> I'm digging it already. But uh, I'll get into this more later when I've ha actually had a chance to read about the construction type and uh, the materials and actually use it. But right now I'm kind of digging the, the heftiness of it. But let me show you a close-up of the two items for the giveaway. This is an RFID protective uh, wallet. And for those of you who are not maybe not familiar, uh, this protects your credit card or your any sort of information that has a magnetic strip that stores information. This would store, uh, protect it from being scanned. And I'm not going to take these out of the package because I want people to receive them you know, as new. So I would take this out and show it to you. But you can go to VanQuest's um, website to look at it, get a better view of it. And then these are really cool. This is a folding pouch. So what this does is it's nice and compact on your gear or on your belt. But when you want to use it, you can... I'm almost afraid to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this because I'll never get it neatly folded again. But what you do is when you want to use it, you pull this up and you pull the hook and loop up. And this pouch will just unfold. And it's a pretty good sized pouch even though it's a small one. And I've seen this used for like, you know, shotgun shells and that kind of thing. Or maybe you're picking up your brass off the ground and this is a collection bag or something. This is really cool because this is the type of thing you can always have stored on the outside of your messenger bag. Uh, since it's got the PALS webbing here. So it'll just be like that. And maybe I've got my first aid kit here, um, which is a similar bag. It's, it's coyote tan also. It would just go out here and save all the room inside for other gear. Okay, so you're asking, what does this have to do with the giveaway? Since the gun community um, category is turning out to be sort of the main category, I'm going to actually draw some runner-ups. So, you know, this may be uh, second place, and this may be third place. But these will be given away uh, in the giveaway. And in a few weeks, we're going to have a drawing. It's going to be live on Monday Night Live, you know, our Monday Night Show our Monday Night Hangout. And I really wanted to thank, uh, I want to thank everybody for entering so far, but I have to say I want to especially thank uh, two people so far, <laughs> and that's the Haas USMC. Uh, Haas is a good friend, and um, I didn't want to really mooch off of him and ask him to enter, uh, but he did anyway, and I really appreciate that, Haas. I uh, really appreciate it. You're a good guy. you got a big heart. And also Oil the Gun. He's an Irish buddy of mine. Uh, you probably don't know this, but my family immigrated to, to the U.S. Uh, probably starting 1790, you know, early 1800s. And uh, I even have photographs of my of my family name on some of the storefronts in Ireland. And it's kind of neat because you'll see uh, horse and buggy and old cars at the same time in the photographs. It's kind of cool. I've also done the research to find out uh, there's the county of Clare. Is where most of them are, and I've you know done research on the graveyards there, and, and have actually seen photographs of headstones, and so it's really neat. So when I met Oil the Gun, it was kind of neat to kind of know you know somebody in the gun community who was Irish, and uh, I just love that country. It's cool. So I appreciate you uh, also uh, for entering Oil the Gun. If you haven't seen his channel, it's really cool. He has uh, his videos are really high quality. And he can also teach you how to make mead, uh, which I have a, a jug in the closet, but I haven't tried. <laughs> it's been there for about uh, six or eight months, and I'm afraid to test it. I'm afraid I'm going to poison myself. <laughs> so when I get it out, it's probably going to be like 200 proof. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, thanks for everything people have done and uh, for entering, and I really appreciate it. And it's just been fun. I think uh, YouTube's getting a little too much fun here lately. So, um, 
my wife's beginning to wonder, you know, what's going on, you know, it's funny. I think I need to go in here and shave. <laughs> I just got home from work. We we finished up the house on Missionary Ridge and we got our final building inspections and we're starting a new project and that's exciting. And I just got back from that project so I'm all nasty and dirty. But I was really excited about getting these items in the mail and I wanted to share them with you. So once again, I appreciate everybody. Thanks a lot. Maybe I could use my bushcraft knife.